Royal Army soldiers from various bases across Europe and the United Kingdom work to establish a makeshift forward operating base at the Otterburn training area. They face a standard training scenario, but one element of this exercise is unique. At Engleco, one of our main missions is to integrate with coalition forces. We're able to come over here and provide um, uh, our TTPs to them as well as learn how they operate so that way when we get into theater and we're working hand in hand everything goes a lot smoother. Providing ground commanders with details that highlight the capabilities of various air assets gives them the information they need to use those assets to their fullest. What we do is we provide uh, air support and deconfliction of aviation and surface fires, uh, providing them the capabilities that the uh, MAGTAF brings into Afghanistan with the uh, HIMARS artillery and close air support. Also, having the voice of an American pilot in their ear provides the ground forces with exactly what they can expect when they're working in Afghanistan. Captain Bern Carter and his team uh, will be out in Afghanistan with the regiment that is uh, that's currently going through exercise Bashed and Sabre. Um, and having that face-to-face -face contact is absolutely invaluable, especially at the Bash command level and the five support team command level uh, where they'll, they'll be operating. These joint training opportunities are designed to ensure the participating forces are ready for all of the challenges they'll face while continuing to work together in Afghanistan and around the world. Air Force Sergeant Kevin Kite, Otterburn Training Area, United Kingdom.